Today, we are going to the ghost town of Centralia, Florida, a logging town that once held one of the largest sawmills in the state. The ghost town is located a few miles north of the city of Spring Hill, Florida, in the Chazhowitzka Wildlife Preserve. This is the old road into Centralia. Today, it is nothing more than a hiking path. Around 110 years ago, Florida was a much different place. Massive pine trees dotted the landscape, while today, most of the Floridian forests are replanted. Why? Because in the early 20th century, there was a logging boom throughout the state, which led to boom towns, like the topic of today's video, Centralia. Centralia was born in 1910. The town was named by a man named Edgar Roberts after a city in Illinois. Roberts and his brother were owners of the Central Cypress Lumber Company, which cut timber throughout Hernando County. Time, Centralia grew to have around 1,500 people. Centralia's main street was made of sand, covered with cypress bark, with cypress sidewalks, and small white houses dotted throughout town. There was also a restaurant, church, drugstore, hotel, and a one-room school, and a movie house. The two most famous buildings in Centralia, however, were the commissary and the sawmill. A man named George Gamble owned a commissary and used a railroad to stock his store with goods from far and wide. The commissary was so well stocked that it rivaled department stores in the larger cities of Tampa and Jacksonville. The sawmill in Centralia was the largest in Florida at its height and could produce 100,000 feet of boards a day. The sawmill was run by workers from Wisconsin who lived in a town called Wisconsin and took the train to Centralia. By 1917, the sawmill had produced 160 acres of land stacked with boards 15 feet high, but the land was bare of trees, dooming the town to a quick demise. The last residents left town in 1921, leaving the once greatest sawmill in Florida to be reclaimed by nature. Thanks for watching.